Welcome back, everybody. Uh, John here, Vanessa's behind the camera right now. Um, we're going to do a workout today, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off of a hit workout. Uh, I know we've shown you a couple progressions in the earlier videos. Today we're going to do a workout. Hopefully you join us and you can do it with us. We'll have a timer going and uh, just try to have some fun and enjoy. So guys, make sure that you warm up um, adequately beforehand and you know just be safe out there. Work to your range of motion. Try to do the full exercise um, and just be safe, okay? So we, our warm up we're going to do really quick is a bear crawl into a push up. Try to work, warm up our legs, stretch them out a little bit. Um, and work on to the first movement. And then as we go along, it's going to warm the body up. So we're just going to do three of these. Start with your feet together. Hands down. You're going to walk your hands forward into a push-up position. Push-up. There. And push yourself back up. Then we're just going to go three of those. We did some light jump roping before, anything you can to just warm your body up uh, to make sure you're ready to move, okay? So the first exercise is going to be a push-up. I'm going to do a regular push-up, but that's just going to do the modified version on a box. Makes it a little bit easier, helps you control and try to keep your elbows in tight. Come down to the, your chest to the ground and push yourself back up. Um, and if you can't do a push-up, you can do holds. But try to work through it and work on that muscle. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Keep your elbows in tight. Make sure you're pushing through, full extension. All right, 10 second rest. It's gonna be eight rounds of push-ups, and then we'll move on to the next workout. One second, go. Two down, six more to go. It's getting tiring already. This box flips different ways. You can use a chair, you can use anything you want, use a couch. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying these limits. Two seconds, one, go. Halfway through. Five seconds, shake your arms out. Hopefully your arm like us and went too high down to the gate. Three more rounds. Three, two, one, go. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. I don't really know that, but I'm assuming you're doing very well. <laughs> Fading fast, guys. Show our process. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Last 
last round. Last round. Three, two, one, go. Great job on the first one. Take, we're gonna have a minute break. We're gonna explain some of the modifications for the next one. It's gonna be lunges. I'm gonna be doing a jumping lunge. Vanessa's gonna show you stationary lunge. Um, again, it's just moving. Works your ability. If you need to hold onto a chair or something while you're doing the lunge, well, this is too low, but if you have a chair, that can help you stabilize. To go up and down. So it's a good one, guys. So one exercise down, we have three more to go. 30 seconds. How are you doing? I'm in shot. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, there's no more arms. No more arms. So 15 seconds. Try to keep your chest up when you're doing lunges. If you need to hold your hands up to do that, some people like to put their hands overhead. That's really tough. But we got three, two, one, go. Try not to smash your knee down. If you need to put something down to protect your knee, that's fine. Go at a good pace. Try to slow down. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hope you guys are enjoying this with us. Feel free to modify any way you can. Just getting out there and moving is good, building muscle. One, go. Halfway through these. Whew. I don't learn every time. <laughs> Too fast every time out of the gate. So, whew. I can feel this tomorrow. How you doing, Miss? <laughs> I'm moving. Is that why you're so talkative? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to modify, take a step up, and then do your jump. Gives you time to catch your breath, brush your legs a second. Does that add dynamic? And two rounds left. Walk around in between, don't lay there. Try to keep the blood moving. Keep pushing. Four seconds left. And one more round. Whew. 
Five seconds. Last round of lunges. Let's go. Try to press through the whole foot. Big toe through the heel. The whole thing. Nice. Great job. Another 60 second rest. I'm going to go to some core exercises. So, we're going to do uh, an ab twist, so you're going to call a Russian twist. What I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to do all eight rounds with my feet up as I'm doing it. So it's going to look like this, feet up, and you're turning your body, touching down. But this is going to do with your feet stationary, and I'm going to try to avoid <laughs> getting to that position too soon. So. Hope you caught your breath. How much time we have? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Enjoy this 20 seconds. We got eight rounds of this, and then one more exercise after that. Total 20 minutes of exercise, and you're gonna feel it. How you doing? Good. Two, one, go. Going, everybody. That 10 seconds doesn't feel like a rest, but definitely helps. <sighs> Some fun things to try are try to get the same number of reps every round. That's if you don't go out too fast in the beginning. Um, something I've shown you in the first two rounds, I'm not very good at doing, but it's a good warning for you guys. Whew. You got it, guys. These workouts never get easier. The fitter you get, the more you can do. Tips? Mm. Trying to stand it up. Ooh. Yeah. And the higher you sit up with your feet like that, makes it a little bit easier. Um, the weight of your chest isn't pulling you down to keep the core activated as long. So if you can sit up higher, it will be a little bit easier, but your feet have to come lower in order to do that. Make sure you breathe. Holding your breath only makes it harder. It's gonna skyrocket your heart rate. Whew. 
Whew. One more round. That's it. One more round so you can rest, you can rest your abs. Doing awesome, guys. Cheated. I stopped a second early. <sighs> That's it for your core. Let's go up to the last exercise. The last exercise is going to be a sprawl or a squat thrust with a jump. So there's two ways to do it. You can do it on the ground. If you have trouble going up and down on the ground, so I'm going to show a sprawl real quick on the ground. Sprawl, kick your legs back, forward, and then jump up. That's a sprawl. Same thing with push-ups. You can actually put your hands here, kick your feet back here, do a jump. Right there, it lessens the load, helps you move faster, but gives you the same workout. So whatever you can do to your ability, the higher the angle, the easier it is on your upper body, but most likely the faster you're gonna move with it. So that's a progression for that. We're both going to do it on the ground for as long as we can. We've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Try to keep your, your core tight when you kick back. Try not to get Saggy middle. She's fast. Yeah. Keep that core tight when you kick your legs back. Squeeze really hard. Kick forward. Round two. The good news is everything we've done up to this point has tied up every muscle you're using in this. So don't be surprised that it's very, very hard. Two rounds down, three seconds left. Two, one, go. If you're having trouble stabilization, you can keep your legs out a little wider, which will help you from rocking back and forth. Whew. Halfway through. And let's go. Two more rounds. You're doing awesome. Three, two, one, go. One 
One more. Whew. That's it. Three seconds. Two. One. Fresh round. Let's go. Awesome job, high five. Great job everybody, that was 20 minutes. Really hard movements. If you moved yourself and pushed through it, hope everybody enjoyed it. We'll add some more of these, work along with, work out along with us. But I'm super pumped for this. Fantastic job Vanessa, I'm a little out of breath, but hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.